Right then, ladies and gents, welcome to the video. Uh, so, another tool in video this week, and I know quite a few of you uh, are dying for me to get back on the Honda Rebel, because uh, I've had a few comments. However, it is carrying on. Um, it is in the background still, but because of the lovely weather in the UK at the minute, so it's the summertime here, uh, it's perfect for getting out on the bike. So um, yeah, I'm a bit of a fair weather rider, so I've had the opportunity to get out on the Suzuki, which has been fantastic, and my other bike as well. Um, because of that, I've had a few service issues with the bikes themselves, uh, so one with the Honda, uh, and now one with the Suzuki as well, so uh, that's why we've got a bit of a tooling video. As usual, I've got a few little bits lying around the workshop which I can use up. Uh, so this project hasn't really cost me anything at all because uh, some of the parts have just been given to me by friends. I've got bits lying around, um, kind of scrap cups or what have you. So um, it's just taking me a little bit of time to put together. <laughs> So at this point I'm faffing around trying to think of a solution on how to mount the part within the chuck. Um, basically I had to go against my previous idea which was to machine out both sides of the tube. So I decided just to go machine out one side instead. It wasn't an issue in the end but uh, I spent a bit of time faffing around thinking of 
how I could kind of mount it in the lathe uh, in a position where it would be safe for me to work on. Uh, it was probably never an issue in the first place, but um, I'm pretty cautious when it comes to stuff like this. So at this point I honestly thought the part was a bit of a mess and um, yeah I almost gave up on it to be honest with you. Uh, but with a bit of a filing and a sanding uh, and a clean up it was exactly what I was after anyway so I don't know what I was um, faffing around at. Um, so I also machined a bit of a cap for it as well so nothing special just a bit of a press fit cap uh, and then basically kind of pressed it together. Right, so this piece of threaded bar has been lying around the workshop and has been used for various projects within the workshop. So one of them being for the Springer. Then it was utilised for the Honda's front forks. Uh, so it's been utilised a couple of times and it's just kind of laying around the workshop now. And it's perfect for what I need for this project. So uh, I'm going to utilise this. Yeah, we'll back it off a bit. We'll back it off a bit because I think it's a bit... 